Bird and Hohino. And we're ready. It's only open an hour longer. What? It's only open for an hour. It's only open for 53 more minutes, actually. But we're gonna do dinosaur. Yeah, maybe okay. we'll do a second ride. Hopefully, we'll get lucky. Hopefully, the truck will be cleared out by then. It'll be hard to hear me, but we're trying to maximize the limited time we've had here. Rivers of Light's just about to end, so we're trying to get to um, Expedition Everest. At least a five minute wait, it says, before the crowd gets out the Rivers of Light. We may or may not have waited over a half hour. We just waited 40 minutes to get on Dinosaur, but it's fine. It was a good ride. It was. It was extra wild. When you come on vacation, wait 50 minutes for it. Look at all this, but we're going right there. And he, Sarah just had a midlife crisis. She just turned to me and goes, I think Eve's getting old. She's just had a spry chicken because she's not a little infant anymore. I think she's like mellowing out. Because I always think something's wrong with her. She's just like chilling. Yeah, but then she's going to snuggle on the couch with us all the time. Whoa! We made it in the queue. That means we're getting on. We're gonna wait for front row. Sarah's set on, she's dead set on waiting for front row. I agree, we should just wait for front row. And I love that we're going on this ride even though you guys know. It hurts my belly. Only when I'm in the world it does. So we did not get to go front row on Expedition Everest. It's okay. Because they were closing in three minutes. They are like, we just got to get people on. Yeah. Um, but it was still a good ride. And we had a good time. We were only there an hour, but... It was a fun hour. Yeah. We love Animal Kingdom. We were just talking about how when my family comes down, we go on vacation, it's going to be so nice to be there, like, park open, park close. Because we, be have, super hard we to haven't vlog. done that. Yeah, that's going to be interesting because... Like well, last time we did park out. open, park close was when we didn't live here and we didn't do daily, so we did like parts. So we were able to film like all the time in the park. Yeah. And then consolidate them into like five 20 minute videos. But now That's we do way too much. we do ten to 20, 20 ten to twenty minute videos for a whole day. So it'll be a little different. Hour. Yeah. I got some ideas of what we can do. Yeah. Get a little artsy with it. You know what I'm saying? You know Maybe. we love a good Montage. Yeah, yeah. So let's we'll see. We'll figure it out. We're back at it again. <laughs> <laughs> An AMC. We're going to see the darkest hour, I think it's called? Yes. Super fancy. It's about political. Winston Churchill. That's our guy from Harry Potter and Batman. We were this close to seeing Greatest Showman again. And they have meat here. They have meat. Well, well, well. It may be a quiet Monday night. But we're back here. We're gonna check out our movie. It's like the fourth time in a week. It's the fourth time in the week that we've been in here, but it'll only be the third, third. movie, right? Because we flopped on the one. They don't have this one yet. But it, it's gonna come here soon, and when it comes here to the Disney Springs, we're gonna go see it. Heard great things about this one. Don't know if we're gonna go see it just yet. I'm pumped about this. And uh, I think we're all the way at the end, yeah. They said we're the last one. <gasps> there he is, there's the darkest hour. One of the best pictures of the year, four stars. They won a Golden Globe last night. Really? Which one? Um, I have no idea. I think Gary Oldman. Mm. Time to go. I hope I don't fall asleep, but I think it's gonna be good. We're snuggin. That was a monster <laughs> for a second. In the fridge. 
There we go. We're home from the movies and it's later than expected, but that's okay. We thought Peter was going to be sleepy during the movie. But guess who slept through about 45% of it? It was, I enjoyed everything I saw. It just wasn't a very stimulating movie. So with you being tired, there's no hope. Mm -hmm. But we got to show you some, a, a little present we got in the mail today. Yes. From our friends Megan right. and Katie. Well, first we have, have we mentioned their new YouTube channel? Um, no, we haven't mentioned it. We'll put up in the corner, check them out. They're yes. hair, huge Harry Potter fans. But they're also big Disney people Huge too. Disney fans. So their channel is um, Main Street, Main Nine, Street and Nine and Three Quarters. It's like the best, most cleverest name ever. I love it. So yeah, so that's exciting. Out. But they just sent us these because they're our friends. These all, because they're from Ohio and let us They're know actually from the same neighborhood as Chelsea. Let us know down below if you know any of this stuff because we have a lot of uh, Disney fans that do the buttons or yeah, the Ohio videos is that, like our that come from Ohio. Our biggest state. So there's were those coffee grounds. From Tree City Coffee, roasted in Cleveland. This is half, this is where the next three things are from. This is bent tree bark milk chocolate locally roasted espresso coffee beans with sea salt. We already had part of it today, so. Yeah. And then Christmas caramel popcorn. With it's ginger, so I have, Sarah said it's great, I haven't tried it yet. I had three pieces because I'm trying to be. And the, oh. These are sea salt caramel. Sea salt caramel and the I crumb. Had one again. The crumb de la creme. That Look at this ridiculous good. cup they gave us that we love. An old okay. Dixie Landing Resort. So, mug. Port Orleans Riverside used to be called this Dixie Landings Resort, and so you'll see it has Brer Fox and Brer Bear and Brer Rabbit and Bluebird. Um, and I actually have this at my mother's house. Like it's. I've never seen it before. Is it's it in, your in bin? a bin. Oh. So this is our first trip was in 1998. It was still Dixie Landings when we came back in 2000. It's no longer Dixie Landings. So we actually have those from our first trip ever. So Megan found them on eBay. Her and I worked in uh, Frontierland together, which is obviously Splash Mountain, Bray Rabbit, and all the quadruple meeting. Yes. Yeah, so, so happy. And Megan also grew up staying there too. So, but so it's, okay. it's late. Thank you again, Megan and Katie, for that. You did not have to. They are amazing. I think I'm They're going to be back coffee. this month. Yes, and I can't wait. They're actually staying at French Quarter. Mm -hmm. Um. I think I'm gonna make that coffee in the morning, but she's sleepy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I'm actually taking tomorrow off for the running. We're also taking tomorrow off from, from the, the parks. parks. But you'll see what's going on tomorrow. Um, but yeah, after doing, I did a lot, of, a lot of research today on like training for runs and the marathons and everything. And it's, it's good to pace yourself and to give yourself break days. And I can tell, I can feel like my body's real worn out from doing the two miles on, uh, Saturday, the four miles on Sunday, and the two miles this morning. So I can feel it already. Plus, with it being later, the guests getting home later, um, I'm just gonna take a rest tomorrow. Yeah. Hang out with my girls here. Yeah. So, with that, look at this girl. <laughs> with that, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.